All right, we're live. Hey, everybody. I thought I'd go live. Um, just got back from an AA event, trying to avoid doing homework. <laughs> so basically, that's it. I went to a Christmas event, and I didn't have um, any kind of Christmas sweater. So I just wore red and green. I got my green camo. I got my... Uh, there we are. We're back. I think I'm getting all these notifications. So that's probably what it is. So just wait and see if anybody comes in here. Make sure we're going on on uh, on YouTube, and we are. Yes. Yeah, so had a um, a good time today on Noodles panel. And then on uh, RSN, you know, just kind of, I didn't realize people were still talking. Um, I didn't know people were still talking about that whole virtual life thing. Like, I, you know, at that point in time, I'll just say it again. Um, I was hugely paranoid and I ended up having, hey, Metamax, hey, David. And I ended up having engine trouble, so that was totally independent of Chris because it was like a month and a half later after I had um, I, after I had parted ways with him. And that was, like, you know, I I was looking at my memories on my Molasses Murphy. I do have a Molasses Murphy um, Facebook page. Let me see if I can share that. So if you guys want to add me on Facebook. I'll share my my molasses Murphy page with y'all. And um oh go to the page here. What are my thoughts on ball busting? You know, ball busting I don't know what how people interpret that in other places, but back on the East Coast, ball busting is like razzing someone, giving them a hard time, you know, kind of for fun. That that is that is ball busting where I'm from. Um, edit public details. I guess I would go to my about info. Uh, how do I share my profile on Facebook? Anyone know how to do that? Right there, copy link. So if you guys want to add me on on my Facebook, my Melissa Murphy Facebook, there it is. There's my Facebook. Hit me up. There we go. Yeah, good good to see you in here, Madam X. Yeah, I figured I would go live. You know, I just went to a nice AA Christmas event. Um, end up getting the. Uh, the Bally Shag when I went to the smoke shop because it was either vapes or cigarettes. And, like, these were actually less um, smell, you know, it seems like. But I get the vapes because it's easier to vape in here with the roommates. I don't like to cause too much of a smell. But I ended up doing, like, the filter with – I just took a uh, – I'll, I'll roll one here in a minute to show you just little pieces – of cardboard, my um, my British cousin taught me that. I don't know if they do in other places, but then you have a nice little filter, so when you get down to the end, you're not wasting tobacco. So we'll have a belly shag, belly swag. Hey, Leah, Leah Sugar Bridges Samson. I like the Sugar Bridges. I like that. That's good. Yes. So yeah, avoiding the homework, which I got to definitely do. Um, I did a paper on American fiction that talks about uh, coast to coast road trips, which I did one. I talked about in my paper Steinbeck's um, East of Eden, 
which is also a movie with James Dean. Totally check it out if you haven't. And one of my favorite books of all time, Jack Kerouac. Oh, no, what's the wrong one? Jack, that is a good one, too. But uh, Jack Kerouac on the road, one of my favorite books of totally all time. If you haven't read this book, it is so worth the read. If you don't even like books, please read that. It's just, you know, to, this one's about uh, families that relocate to um, Central Valley, California. And uh, it's epic. It's an epic. It's epic. You know, there's so many, so many different subplots in this. It's mammoth. It's definitely... It's a good read if you like long books, um, East of Eden. But if you just like a nice quick read, something fun, Jack Kerouac on the road for sure. So that's what my papers are on. Yeah, check those out, Madam X, if you hadn't. I'll show them again. On the road, Jack Kerouac, classics, total classics. And check out the, um, check out the James Dean movie of this, East of Eden. So... Good paper. I still got to come up with like three more pages. I'm like, it's a 12 page paper and it's going to be at least 15. Yeah. That Berg song was written by um, Noodles. Noodles wrote that Berg song. Yeah. Oxford commas are so important. I did read Cannery Row. Yeah. Yeah. I love Steinbeck. Yeah. I was living for a little while in the land of Steinbeck. Um, and uh well he's talking about salinas uh in his books a lot because that's where he's from but um i was living down in monterey for a little bit i was working down in monterey county um yeah stan silver j money just got back from aa um christmas event it was really fun that's why i said i was dressed in red and green for my aa christmas event Kitten Cat Coats was looking for you and missing you tonight. Yeah, I haven't watched um, Coats in a minute. Oh, my God. It's cold in here, you guys. We're still waiting for our heater to get fixed. I got a little little space heater here. Hey, German lady. Good to see you. Yes. I still got that stream up, the one that Magda wanted me to delete. Yeah. Not going to do it. Molasses, please, can you say that you want to burst my balls, please? There you go. I just said it. Thanks, Andrew. Yeah, I got kind of dressed up for the for the festivities. Got my got my Wonder Woman t-shirt on, which has got, check this out. Check this out. Let me do this. Check this out, guys. Check this out. Check it out. Check it out. It's the full-on Wonder Woman. I get I tell you what, this um streaming our camera is just yes, let's do this. Do the Wonder Woman full on. Hmm. Yeah, it's cool, isn't it? This lady that lived next door to my my mom gave it to me. Yeah. Yeah, so I wore this to the Christmas party. I'm telling you, the StreamYard cameras are, like, crooked. That's really super weird how that is. Yeah. Have you and a guy ever tried ball busting? Probably, and I just didn't even know what I was doing. I don't know. Is that a thing, ball busting? See, like I said, back east, it's um, ball busting is something totally different. Yeah, I'm doing pretty good, Madam Max. I like to kick the smokes, you know. That's still that's still a uh, thorn in my side, but but I'm eating healthy food, um, home cooks type of stuff, you know. I don't eat a lot of meat um, unless I go out. I mostly at home I eat like tuna. I do once in a while get um, get like those White Castle frozen burgers. Um, but I, otherwise I do beans, like veggie patties, um, tuna fish, mostly I mix tuna and right. I get those pouches of uh, microwave rice that's already cooked. You just zap it for like 90 seconds and mix it with tuna fish. Hey mama, th 13 doing pretty good. Doing pretty good. 
Yeah. Yeah, I just figured I would do a live, you know. Mm. Awesome. Yeah, good to see you, Andrew. I haven't seen you for a while. I was checking to see if anybody was, I didn't want to go live on top of like Noodles or Anderson or anything like that. So I checked to see if they were live. Ain't but one way out, babe. And I just can't go out that door. Cause it's a man down there. Might be your man. I don't know. I love Leonard Skinner. And I'm telling you, I love Leonard Skinner so much. Is that where you are? Is it Fresno? I was down in Fresno for a while. I'm 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 in the Central Valley. I'll just put it that way. I'm not gonna say exactly where I am, but uh, it's easy enough to find out. If you want to do the research, you're welcome to. Mm -hmm. Guys pay a lot for it. I'm gonna Google it. Thanks, Madam X. I haven't played a whole lot. Um, okay. Is it just like shooting your load? Is that what it is? I mean, that's what I'm thinking. Oh, I see. It's a torture. I see. I, you know, I don't know if I still had it, but I had, I had a, um, a cock ring that was that was a bondage one that was like a ball separator is that what you're talking about i had a ball separator i don't know if i still got it or not let me look in the bag um i don't know if i still got a ball separator or not i got let's look at my some of my sex toys i got i got this flogger for this vlogger this is pretty good too it's got the rhinestone handle so mm. got the vlogger what else you got here oh got some uh, toy cleaner scented toy cleaner strawberry strawberry scented toy cleaner what else we got in here I got this other whip too this is hardcore um Cruiser, I used to love it when Cruiser used this on me. This is uh, this is like metal tipped, spiked, spike tipped whip. And I have been known to uh, self flagellate. Wait, put that out. I have been known to do that. Oh yeah, baby. Oh, I love it. Oh yeah. Ooh. Yeah, I love doing that. Yeah, LOL, I'm so sheltered. Midnight Rider, that's another one. I gotta run to keep from hiding. And I'm bound to keep on riding. And I got one more silver dollar. But you're not gonna catch me, not gonna catch me, not gonna catch the Midnight Rider. Here's some um, toy fluid lubricant. Yeah, this is a good one. Let's check out the consistency. Got to do that. Got to do that. Oh, just a nice, can you get the little, little, you know, kind of glistening, kind of natural, real natural and smooth on that um, toy lubricant, toy fluid. Toy fluid, what's that called? I'm looking for the cock ring. I don't know if I got the ball separator still. I got some, oh, definitely a good, Analyze, definitely a good um, product to have for a girl like me. You know, it just comes in a tube, Analyze. But we're looking to see if I still have the ball separator so we can hook uh, David up here. Let's see. Yeah, we got the, um, I saved this one, Pink Pussycat. I tell you what, I got one that had like a panther on it, and Cruiser took that, and I and he took that for private, but he should have taken it for the video because he was like on. Oh, we do have one condom left. Yeah, because I gave all my condoms to Cruiser. Let's see what else we got here. I got a bunch of uh, different types of lube. This is a flavor. This is the wet 
brand strawberry. I love the strawberry. This is the wet flavored lubricant. Um, I got I got a bunch of this. You know, I bought a bunch of this at a sex shop in Fresno, actually. Um, this one, this one, did I buy this one in Fresno? This is a whipped cream um, lubricant. So I got a couple different. So you got the strawberries, strawberries and whipped cream. Here we go. Strawberries and whipped cream lubricants. Um, it would be cool if I still had that ball separator. Some more toys. I got these. I got these stockings. I haven't even used it yet. These crotchless red ones. And then I these ones I wore for the sex video. They're clean though. These are the crotchless. Um, I love nude crotchless. These ones are really cool. Yeah, I hope I still have that ball separator. Maybe not. Maybe I gave it to Cruiser. I might have gave that ball separator to Cruiser. Yeah. I don't see it. But I would get another one. And I, I think I wore these too for, geez, at least private time with me and Cruiser. These are crotchless fishnets. The white crotchless fishnets. Right there. Well, it's too bad. I would definitely buy another one of those ball separators if it's not in here. And then, of course, I'm not going to put it on because I'm sure that that's, that that's the strap on. It's a strap on right there. You just pop that. Just pop that right in the front. You guys have seen this one in action. And they're totally clean. Keep them totally clean. Um, Let's see if we can get this in here. Oh. There we are. Here we go. Here we go. There's the strap on. There's the famous strap on, guys. Right there. Yes. What do they do? Well, this one penetrates a, a woman or a man in the anus. A woman in the anus or vagina, the woman can suck on it. I'm not going to suck on it because I don't want to get, get struck. Oh, these guys, these are fun, guys. These are um, nipple clamps. I love these. These are a lot of fun for men or women. But I've, I've definitely played with these on my own, for sure. You just put it in there. Just put your nipple in there. And then, whoop. yeah, those are really fun. Really like those. I must have gave that I must have gave that ball separator to Cruiser. Um, because I'm not seeing it. And then a pair of uh just a pair of G string panties. These were all things that, you know, I either wore for the um for the video or is this this probably this doesn't have the battery in it or it's gonna be changed. Yes, we got our uh, Las Vegas Raiders battery here. I might need new batteries in here. Yeah, I probably need new batteries. I haven't used this one for a while. I've been trying to be celibate, and that includes masturbation, guys. But that, um, I guess more batteries. Let's bust out the batteries and see that bad boy in action. Hold on just a second. I'll get the um, Look at the batteries. Get a brand new pack of AC Delcos right here. But yeah, as far as I know, this one was still rocking and rolling. See the comments here. I know the ball separator. I'm gonna get one, you know. I'm gonna actually go on and get one maybe even later tonight. Now if this doesn't vibrate, I'm gonna be sad. Yeah, there we go. Ooh, it is not quiet. People gonna know what you be doing with this. But it's nice, it's a nice soft um soft feel even though it's loud, but I don't mind. I can, you know, scream over the, uh, 
You need a tractor bat battery. Yeah, so that's good. It's nice and smooth. It's not too big, you know. It's a good one. So we got some fresh batteries there. That's good. I'll take those old ones out. Get that. Um, where's the other one? There was another one right here. This one, I ended up the battery. Um, oh, I forgot about that. This one, it ended up the battery doesn't work anymore. It, it doesn't, the vibe wasn't working, but it's still good. This, this little, um, this little thing here, it's got the Hamza, you know, the evil eye and the hand. But this is a good little one. I'm, you know, I might try that out later. But um, I can put this back on now that I don't have the battery in it. And this is, I think I got this at Spencer's. I think I got this one at Spencer's. This is Neon Love Touch Vibe. Yeah. But, yeah, like I said, guys, I have, I you know, I haven't even um, I haven't even been masturbating because of my celibacy. I want to be celibate during this first year of sobriety, and that has recently included masturbation too. So, but this is a good little one, you know. And even though the battery doesn't, the switch doesn't work anymore. Um, did I put a battery in it? No, I didn't even, it doesn't have a battery in it, but I can tell you the switch doesn't work anymore. Um, it's a good little thing. It's a good little thing to have. Oh, no, hopefully I can get that back on there. But, yeah, I really like that one. I really like that one. Yes. I'll put some of these back in the bag. Crotchless panties. Strap on. Yeah, let's give that another go. Oh, yes. That's a good thud, but I used to really like when Cruiser would wield that one on me. That's really good. Yeah, and it's got those nice... Oh, let's check that out again. The nice spikes. I really like this. I really like that one. It's a little fun. Let's see. And then we got some more... Um, I'm gonna put that in there. We got some more. Oh yeah, this one's an anal plug. That one's gonna be cleaned off. But that's a nice anal plug. Yes. The nice grippy grippy right there. I really like this. I really enjoy that myself. Yeah. A lot of fun. Yeah. Right in here, and then I go. I think this still vibrates. This um, this cock ring, yeah, still vibrates. And I cleaned it up. This has been used by Cruiser. This has been on Cruiser's penis right here. Yeah. Oh, the vibration's nice. It's really nice. It's a nice soft vibration. So you can put it either way, um, so it vibrates on your balls, or you can put it this way, and say you're doing missionary position, it can stimulate the woman's clitoris. Yeah, yeah, that's really good, and it's still the battery still works, so that's awesome. We got some more strawberry. I love this. This is the pheromone, the Adam and Eve pheromone massage oil really like that product um i haven't used this toy cleaner yet i got that in fresno and uh and this one i've used this is the kama sutra i've used this one a lot uh kama sutra personal lubricant love liquid i've used that one's almost gone to be honest so and that's pretty much it that's it guys yeah is this another condom or the same one yeah, so, but no ball separator. I, I really think I gave that to Cruiser. I really do. Oh, wait, there's another bag here. These are the old school ones that I've had for for a long time. Let me open this stuff up. There's like, there's two, um, there's two dildos in here. These are straight up dildos. These are not vibrating. 
the one it's supposed to be like anal this anal one i love this one this is such a nice anal or or non-anal um dildo i love this one really had a lot of fun over the years with that with that guy right there and then um look at this man this is mammoth i love this i've also had a lot of fun with this the silicone um dong yes um and it's got a suction cup i don't know you gotta wet it a little bit but you, you can stick it to the wall and go at it on the wall stick it on the floor it this is a lot had a, had a lot of fun with that one right there over the years and it's like veined and realistic look at that nice head on that a lot of fun a lot of fun with those right there yes yeah and i had i had used this um dong right here as a strap on i have this victoria's secret ribbon and i would just tie this around the dong and tie it around my um my legs and i had used this for a strap on before um yeah when i want to enjoy that sexual aspect so there you go guys there's my toy collection yeah thanks for mentioning that david you know it's too bad i don't have the ball separator i'm gonna do that i'm gonna buy one a ball separator to have another one yes yeah i know what you're talking about now yeah, I never heard it called ball busting. Huh. That's interesting. Batteries right there. Yes. I'm going to show you guys how to roll one of those cigarettes with the, uh, with, I bet your celibacy. Oh, when I end my celibacy, it's going to get wild up in there probably. Yeah, you're right. It's good. It's good to do that. Okay, take a little piece of cardboard, just just a little tiny piece. Like that right there. And then get your paper. Get your paper out. Get your paper out. Yeah. In Britain, we call the cardboard bit of the cigarette a roach. That's right. That's what my cousin called it. It was my cousin that lives in Britain that uh, shot, showed me this little trick. And then just take, that's right. He called it a roach. And just take and roll it real tiny, real tiny, real tiny. This. If it's fat, it's not going to work. Slingshot warrior, you couldn't handle her. She would put her strap on on and show you who's alpha. <laughs> yes. That's right, Lori. Yeah. And then I just, I fold the ends a little bit like that, like that. Just the corners in. You can see that. Yeah, sort of like that. And then I just put this, put this on one end. Okay. And again, got the belly shag. And then put, uh, we can do this. Grab your, grab your bit of tobacco. I don't want to lose too much of it here. And pack that in there, keeping the roach at the end. And uh, I'm gonna have too much tobacco there. Oh, we'll we'll pack it up, make it a thick, fat cigarette. And then I just roll back and forth, you know, roll back and forth. And then roll it up. Yeah. 
you doing here? Yeah, there we go. And there we have it. There we have it, guys. There's the filter at the end. And then that way you're not wasting tobacco. And that was, uh, I was like, I'm going to do that. That way when I roll them, I'm not wasting too much tobacco, you know? So, yes. I wonder what I did with um, Yeah. See what my nose is driven because my heater's not fixed. Torque or tongue sling. Slingshot somehow do not think that is you. Is slingshot in here? Slingshot warrior in here? Oh, twerk? I wish you could see my webcam right now. You don't think that's really him? Yeah, it might be noodles. Yeah, possibly. So there, then, you know, just light it up. And you got the little filter. At the end. You know, so we've been doing that to save a little bit of money on smokes i need an explanation on the ball separator what does it do what's good about it well i guess some guys like that pain but it, it's a it's a leather okay it goes around the penis around the penis like a cock ring and then there's two pieces of leather that go between the balls and um it, and you get an erection when you get an erection it tightens up and it, um, it's, it's, uh, it's, you know, kind of rips at your balls a little bit. And I guess that's ball busting says, uh, says, I think it was David. Yeah. Yeah. I think he means twerk. That's right. It's definitely not him. Oh, what did I miss? A bunch of comments. It's definitely not him, Alasis. I'm a swallower. Yeah. I'm definitely a swallower. I like this type of bed, no drama. Yeah, I just like chill stream like this. I like I like watching chill streams. Oh, the drama. Yeah. I was picturing something completely different. What was you picturing? Yeah. Yeah, I've been watching mostly esoteric stuff. I saved that a lot. Oh, I was going to show you guys my new tarot cards. I got some new tarot cards, and they are the bomb. Mm-hmm. They are the bomb, guys. They are really good. I got them from a place called Oddities for Sale. I'm gonna, I'm gonna share that link. Oddities for Sale. Oddities for Sale, right there. This is where I ended up buying these tarot cards. I'm gonna share. Copy link. Check that place out. Really super good. Yeah, oddities for sale. They're in Oregon, I think. But I got these really rad cards, guys. Really rad cards. And then this, I always say it wrong. San, is it Santa Muerte? Tarot, the Day of the Dead stuff, designs, different skull designs. These were spot on, and it and it comes with this code that you scan so you can download the instruction book. But check out that box. 
Yes, I really love it. I really love it. I would highly rec recommend, maybe I'll do a reading with these cards, but I would highly recommend these cards for sure. Yeah, maybe I'll show them. We got the Five of Cups. That is cool. That's like a, like a, it looks sort of like a menorah. It's like a menorah labyrinth on the top of his head. Give the judgment card. These are all mixed up because I um, did a reading. I'll show a few of them here. This is the strength card. They're really rad designs. I just really got uh, the chariot. I'm going to take off the comment if I can. Uh, how can I take, how do I take off that comment? There we go. So you guys can see the chariot. Hopefully the cigar will blow up and not sort it. Mm. Oh, this one's nice. Ace of Pentacles. We got the, uh, was it the praying mantis on top of the skull there? Four of Pentacles. But the reading on this, guys, was spot on. Wow. That's like a, like a giant bride skull skeleton and oddities for sale would definitely recommend this Santa is a Morte Santa Morte Tarot is that how you say that five of pentacles walking across a bunch of skulls I'll just show a few more here's the world card we got a sort of a female Grim Reaper character on top of the world. I really love these. What's the backs? The backs kind of remind me of like Grateful Dead stuff. Kind of reminds me of like a Grateful Dead design. Save your, what is it? Space, space your face or something like that. Justice card. There's another Grim Reaper. I like those. Nine of Wands. Yes. I'll show one more. Here's the Sun card. So there, and I got that oddities for sale. It's super, super rad. I'll show you the Book of Shadows. I got two from there after I show this other deck. I would highly recommend that shop. They got all kinds of different things. And um, this one is super rad. I did I did a reading on this, and it was it was actually funny. It was really funny. This is called the Occult Tarot, and it's it's demonology, guys. It's demonology. The new comments here. Yeah, there's that. That's where I got them. I love molasses. There could be a sudden volcano and she would be so chill. Like, guys, that lava could be really hot. Yes. No, highly recommend we move away from it. <laughs> That's so me, Lori. That's so me. I think it has something to do with the medication. Let me some tarot. Hey, Miss Vin Jenny. Good to see you. I get a kick out of Rich Life. We wanted to gift molasses and it's used panties. I love those panties. I wear the ones with the stars. I don't know if I can put my hands right on them. If I can, I'll try to find Anna's panties. And um, when I show you the book of shadows, I do not like the thing daily and did and read others readings when they were not present. I, I do that sometimes though. I do that sometimes. I do boy readings sometimes. So many tarot options in Salem, Massachusetts. I love living in the state. I, you know, I never spend any time there. I really should have too. It's hard to interpret. I've done it a bunch, so I kind of, you know, 
I got this one deck that I really know well anyway. So, yes, hit that thumbs up. Hey, thanks, Stoney. There's a skull right there. Lord YouTube, dark side of whatever you are finding. So that's fine. Yes. But these ones, guys, are so rad. The Occult Tarot. And it's got this the uh, code that you scan for the book. These ones are so rad. They've got the... Um, each got a demon. That's a Sagan. Um, eight, eight of Pentacles. Turns water into wine and back again. Turns blood into wine. Turns any metal into legal tender coins. Makes fools wise. And that um, has the Tarot Association. And then the, the Seal of Solomon. Um, yeah. Yeah, I really like these. Balak. And that's for the Wheel of Fortune. So yeah, these are all demons. Andrus. And there's the Chariot. Sower of Discord, Slayer of Men. Yeah, these are really rad. I'm not even going to show them all. I would, I would definitely recommend this one right here, the Occult Tarot, for a lot of fun. And you just download the book. And... Um, I'm going to go grab, I'm going to go grab uh, that Book of Shadows. Well, I'm going to finish my cigarette first, but. Lessons is the way we should all nice and lay back in a cool personality. Right on, Buff Carrot, right on. Yeah. Yeah, hold on, guys. I'm going to go see if I can find the, um. And his panties. Hopefully they're clean. Yeah, I have to put my hands right on them. Put my hands right on them, guys. Because I do like to wear them and they are clean. These are Anna's panties. You got moons and stars on them. I wear them a lot. I wear them a lot. Yep. They're nice. They smell good. Oh, they smell nice. Yeah, I really like those. Those are really pretty. They kind of like pink. You can see? Pink, stars, moons. You got the black lace. I love them. I love those. And um, this is the Book of Shadows. I just, I just got this, guys. It just came in, and I'll do an, I'll do an unboxing because I got another book over there. But look at that. That is a rad Book of Shadows. And it's like all blank, and that's what I'm gonna do with it. I'm gonna put like different herb names, different magical names. I'm just gonna do my own little Book of Shadows, and uh, isn't that cool? I totally love that. I totally love that. I loved Anna too. Anna's my favorite rich life girlfriend. Yep. Loved Anna. Yes. All right, let's do that unboxing. This is from, from Thrift Books. Thrift Books. I might need to get a note. Yeah, I know what this is. I had had this book once before. It's um, Ted Andrews, How to Heal with Color. Balance Your Chakras. I do ch chakra balancing all the time. Yeah. It's a good book, Ted Andrews. Ted Andrews does a lot of good stuff, actually. And he's no longer alive. He's no longer alive. So when you're reading this, you're channeling in to... Um, Yep, here's the table of contents right here. We got world chapter one, world of light and color, chapter two, colors and their effects, chapter three, developing color sensitivity, chapter four, color therapy for the chakras, chapter five, determining the colors needed, 
Chapter six, color therapy with air and water. Chapter seven, projecting colors. Chapter eight, healing with candles. Chapter nine, tree of colors, which is like tree of life associations right there. Like the Kabbalah, the Kabbalah tree of life and the color associations. Chapter 10, color of the four worlds. And chapter 11, color healing mandalas. And chapter 12, holistic health. It's a really good book. How to heal with color. Teddy Andrews. So check it out. Check that out for sure. Yeah. <laughs> she money don't ignore me. Uh, no, what did you say? Did I miss something? Let me go back up here. I'm probably missing some comments. Yes, that's uh, oddities for sale. Definitely. Had a good time at Rosie's. Had a really good time at Rosie's. I mean, whatever beef... Um, Rich life has with her. That's his, you know. No, I'm not ignoring you. I must have missed your comment. Yeah. Yeah, it's good to be back. It's definitely good to be back. Well, I've been live for 45 minutes. Hard to believe. Yeah, I'm just going to do a little bit of, um, hey, look at the Christmas cards I got this year. I'm going to send some out to my family right here. Christmas wish for you. May your Christmas be filled with blessings, laughter, and love. I thought that was pretty good. I like the poinsettias. So I'm going to write out some Christmas cards to my family. Get those out in the mail. And do... Um, do my homework. Yeah, so I gotta add three more pages to that. I've been doing the um, I've been doing the Nielsen ratings. It's radio, but it's you also can do podcasts and stuff. So I've been writing in when I listen to. I wrote uh, right here on Thursday. I wrote in listen to Slingshot Warrior. Slingshot Warrior on YouTube, KABC, which is what I listen to a lot. It's conservative radio from LA. And um, yeah, so Slingshot Warrior made it in there. Um, Noodles made it in there. And, um, and Anderson. Yeah. Yeah. One of my yummy cookie. I, I didn't actually see it IRL, really, because we kept it pretty PG, but um, I did see pictures. Yes. Thanks. I've lost a bunch of weight. I have. I finally got back down to 128 because I put on, like, a few pounds at um, Thanksgiving time. Uh, put, on the feed, put on the feed bag pretty good there, Thanksgiving time. But I think I might do a little video. I want to try to do – the bacon wrapped turkey that I saw um, a YouTube video of. Oh, there's a Kleenex. Um, the bacon wrapped turkey. So we'll see how that goes, guys. But I want to try to do a video of at least a little short of before and after. Thanks, Tony. I am. You know, I am like more chill. I was. I was. I was angry and like aggressive before. You know, hey, thanks. Yeah. Was it big in the pictures? Yeah, it was big in the pictures. Yeah. 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 Well, I think I'm going to wrap it up, guys. Just a quick little live. It's been almost an hour. And I'm going to get to some homework. But that was really fun. You know, a little sex toy review, which is totally cool, guys. People do that all the time. Trish Paytas does that. I watch a lot of Trish Paytas sex toy reviews. And no, it wasn't. I, you know, I had a boyfriend that actually had one bigger. 
I had a boyfriend. I was talking about him on Noodle Stream. He had 12 inches. And um, yeah, it's not meant for me and Madam X. It's not. Thanks, Lori. We'll do it again. I want to try to do at least once, once a week, you know? I, I want to try to do that. Yeah, I took a break for about four months while I, while I got sober. Um, I'm really serious about AA. I just keep it a day at a time and can hopefully keep on to that. So, yes, hit me up, guys. Hit me up. I think I might share that link again for my Facebook. Um, hey, I got one friend request already. Yeah. So, so definitely hit me up. I'm going to share that link again just so you guys have it in case it went by already. And we can share it here. Oops, that's Ghostface Killer. How do I share it? Oh, I can't remember. I can't remember how I just did it. Right there. Okay, copy. Yeah, stay away from triggers for sure. Yes. There's my Facebook right there, guys. Hit me up. Hit me up. Do it, J Money. For sure. All right, guys. Have a good night. I'll see you soon. Thanks.